Hey YouTubers, what is going on? What is happening? What is grilling? Welcome back to another edition of Grill and Thrill. What are we going to talk about today? Well, we're going to talk about safe grilling, if there is such a thing, healthy grilling, which there isn't really such a thing as healthy grilling. Uh, everybody knows that barbecue is not healthy for you. Uh, but there are ways you can make it less not healthy for you. God, that sounds bad. Um, anyway, so there's a couple things I want to talk about today. We may do a couple videos on this uh, to get it all out to you, all the information. Um, why would I even think about doing this? Well, quite simply, I had a friend of mine, an uh, old friend of mine, know, known this person for years, went to culinary school, and uh, this, I didn't go, but this person did, and they got a hold of me last night and said they watched my videos and stuff, and I was like, wow, so you're the one. Nice. But they were, they mentioned acidity in the food. And, and stuff like that and I wasn't quite sure what they were talking about so I went ahead and did some research on it and there was a lot of stuff that I learned I didn't really uh, realize so just wanted to bring this information forward to you guys let you know I do care about you I really appreciate you watching the videos and I want you to have a good time and enjoy your food and stay healthy also, uh, what are we drinking today? Well, we're drinking some coffee out of the uh, Don't Tread on Me coffee mug. Not that that's healthy, but there's no alcohol in it. No adult beverage mixed in there, so doing kind of good with that this morning. Um, Alright, let's dive into this. First one we're going to talk about. Obviously, the worst thing you can do is deep fry your food. Uh, deep frying and... Excuse me, I'm reading off the internet here. So, uh, and I'll leave some of these links in the description if you guys want to read on about it. But deep frying is worse is one of the worst ways to cook your food as it bathes food in oxidized fats, denatured proteins, and glycated sugars. Uh says the high temperatures used during deep frying produce a number of toxic compounds that can increase your risk of cancer well I don't know about all that stuff I don't know why that's any worse as far as causing cancer than other other ways of growing which we'll get into but uh, obviously deep frying your food everybody knows it's not healthy so chicken wings which are pretty much a staple of any good backyard barbecue if you like chicken wings like I do you can't get enough of them instead of deep frying them cook them on the grill uh, you can use you know just lightly coat them with like an olive oil uh, a light olive oil and you can season them you know with a dry seasoning uh, it, you still get a lot of flavor that tastes really good that way uh, I actually have some guests that prefer theirs grilled uh, they are either on diets or watching this or watching that whatever intake it is that they're watching they've got little apps on their phone you know but uh, so a lot of people do actually prefer them grilled than deep fried. So that's one way you can kind of eat a little bit healthier but still enjoy barbecued food. Uh, you got to watch your marinades, your sauces. Uh, a lot of them have like hidden sugars in them. Uh, most of them or a lot of them are tomato based which, you know, tomatoes are a big cause of like acid reflux. Anyway, I was getting a little bit off topic from types of cooking, but you guys are getting the gist now. So, deep frying, not good for you, obviously. Uh, one of the worst ways to cook your food, I, I, I would imagine. 
But uh, let's go into another staple of barbecue or cooking out for your family or whatever. Burgers. Plain and simple burgers. Uh, they're not as bad for you as people might think. If you do get a lot of acid reflux or heartburn for you know after you're eating your your burgers or stuff, you can go with a less fatty hamburger uh, instead of you know 85-15 burger. Go with 70-30. Uh, you know the leaner the meat, the less uh, fatty acids you get. Some fatty acid or some fat is good for you. Uh, too much not 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 so healthy another problem is anything you cook on the grill over hot coals uh, as the fat and the, the juices drip onto your coals uh, they cause uh, carcinogens uh, here we go it's right here uh, when the fats hit the coals uh, they cause HCAs and PHAs which are I believe you can look it up like I said I'll leave these uh, links below um but anyway most uh it says right here about barbecue sauces most barbecue sauces have hidden sugar and MSGs uh, so watch out for those you can get uh, similar tastes and textures from lower temperature grilling which basically means offset you know, grilling, put your coals on one side of your grill, cook on the other. Uh, I've done videos on how to do that, but you don't get the, uh, as much toxins, uh, from your food when you're, when, when, when you slow cook, when you offset cook, than you do when you direct cook over the grill, or over the coals. Now, uh, searing, and then offset cooking, uh, that's kind of a tossed up. There's so many different opinions on, on, on all this stuff. It's kind of hard to, to pinpoint any one accurate opinion. But, uh, yeah, anyway, burgers. Burgers are fine. If, even if you want to go to a turkey, ground turkey burger, I personally love ground turkey burgers. Uh, I think they're really good and they're a lot healthier for you. Not that I'm trying to be healthy or anything. But I just, I happen to like the taste. Uh, turkey sausage, turkey bacon. I just like, I like it. Alright, let's talk about slow cooking. Uh, slow cooking, it's easy, it's efficient. Put the crap in a crock pot. Turn it, <coughs> excuse me. Turn it on, let it set for hours, you know, Go to work, come home, your your food's ready. Uh, slow cooking breaks down collagen, uh, makes your meat real soft and delicious, but it can produce uh, glutamate, whatever the hell that is, and you can actually overcook your meat uh, that way as well. Um, that's why you got to really, if you're going to slow cook, do it correctly. Keep that lid tight, covered. Uh, use any oxidant spices like rosemary, um, turmeric. Uh, you might want to consider adding some like vitamin C powder uh, if you're planning on to simmering something or slow cooking it. You know, for several hours. Uh, that's another thing. Simmering not good to do for your food. Uh, I know a lot of us, you know, press for time or we make our spaghetti sauces or, or whatever. Uh, simmering prevents fats from oxidizing uh, and it uh, tends to fully, I'm reading this part, it tends to fully denature proteins. Uh, simmering for a short period of time is fine, but leaving a bunch of meat on the stove to simmer for hours is not good. Oh, here we go. Right here. Denatured proteins, uh, which have lost their structure due to heat, aren't toxic in and of themselves. 
But the more heated the protein is, the more denatured it gets, and less likely that your body will be able to take advantage of its signaling molecules. For you scientists out there, if you want to leave it in the comments, whatever the hell that means, be glad to hear it. I don't know, guys. That's pretty much what I want to talk to you guys about today. Just, you know, like I said, as, as, as the season progresses, maybe we'll do some more videos. Uh, maybe we'll even try to do some healthier videos to show you guys. Doesn't mean every one of my meals from now on is going to be healthy. No. But let me know what you guys think. If it was interesting, if you need more information, let me know. So until next time, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it because this was a healthy video, cracking one, packing one. Not healthy. Oh, shit, I said it. Oh, well. Till next time, guys. Grill. Grill.